200 creepy mummies are stored in one place with the strictest temperature control, a ship underwater on which laws did not apply. The oldest mummy of Africa and unusual finds from ancient Egypt. Watch the video until the end, it will be interesting. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Spells from the Book of the Dead Perhaps I will start my story about the first find from the archaeological cradle, from the place with which archaeology is associated with each of you, Egypt. Saqqara is a gigantic necropolis of the ancient Egyptian capital of Memphis. The last time unusual papyruses were found here was more than 100 years ago, and today archaeologists are incredibly lucky. They found a 16-meter ancient papyrus with spells from the Book of the Dead. As soon as archaeologists found it, they decided that it was 9 meters long, and after restoration and cleaning, they realized that its length was 16 meters. Experts from the Egyptian Museum in Tahe were engaged in its restoration, where it received its name, Veziri Papyrus. The uniqueness of this find also lies in the fact that this is the first papyrus that was discovered by an Egyptian and named after an Egyptian. It sounds rather strange, but who then discovered all the finds in Egypt and was engaged in the excavations? For many years, excavations in Egypt have been carried out by archaeologists from all over the world, especially researchers from Great Britain, whose colony was Egypt. They promised to show the papyrus at the opening of the Great Egyptian Museum. At the moment, experts are translating it from hierarchical into hieroglyphic and Arabic, so that every person in the modern world has the opportunity to read spells from the Book of the Dead. The only question is, do we need to read these ancient spells? Write in the comments what you think about this. The Book of the Dead is a funerary text from ancient Egypt containing declarations and spells to aid the dead in the afterlife. The book consists of funerary texts and is dated to 50 BC. The discovery of this mysterious papyrus with spells from the Book of the Dead will shed light on the beliefs of the ancient Egyptians and the transition to the realm of the dead. A ship that was not subject to the laws during prohibition in the United States, real chaos was happening in the country. However, gangster groups used this time to their advantage. The most famous gangster in the history, Al Capone, made a real floating casino restaurant from an ordinary barge, in which prohibition did not apply. Here, everyone could do what they wanted. Alcohol and money flowed like a river. Initially, it was assumed that the Coca barge would only be engaged in the transportation of timber, and for some time, if the barge was used for its intended purpose. From 1889 to 1928, the barge was engaged in the transportation of timber, after which it was turned into a floating dance hall with live music, endless alcohol and, of course, gambling. Access to the barge was only for their own, and among his own, it was Al Capone himself, his inner circle and, of course, local politicians and heads of police stations. In the 30s of the last century, there was more corruption in the United States than and alcohol. Al Capone bribed absolutely everyone, and those who did not want to take money went on a forage to fishes. It would seem that such a ship should live forever, and what could happen to it when it's under when it is under the control of the most famous gangster and under the supervision of the police. However, in 1931, a drunken customer shot and killed the restaurant manager, and the following year, the ship sank for unknown reasons. And just the other day, divers Chris Roxborough and and Lee Rosenberg managed to photograph the Kuka barge which rests at the bottom of the lake. For 40 years of transporting timber, the barge had worn out and leaked water, which was pumped out every day. The person who did this work received a salary in the form of whiskey, which at that time was considered an expensive liquid currency. But it seems to me that the hard worker did not have time to bring his salary to the shore and drink it while working. There was an opinion that local believers deliberately flooded the barge. They did not like that at night screams were heard on the barge, loud music sounded, and sometimes shots were heard. 250 Fossilized Titanosaur Axe 
China is not the only place where large stocks of ancient dinosaur eggs have been preserved. This time, we were pleased by archaeologists from the Indian Institute for Science Education Research and paleontologists from the University of Delhi. In the central and western parts of the country, 256 fossilized eggs of ancient lizards were discovered. In total, researchers have found more than nesting sites of ancient reptiles, titanosaurs, that lived in India 67 million years ago. Paleontologists noticed that most of the eggs were in one place and were pressed against each other. It looks like more than 60 million years ago, a female titanosaur left her eggs here and never returned to this place. All eggs belong to the same species of dinosaur, however, in the nest, their number was different, they also differed in size. This finding of eggs tells us that their population was much larger than previously thought, and they nested in colonies. Titanosaurs ate plants, giant reptiles lived on the territory of modern Asia, Africa, Europe, and South America during the Upper Cretaceous. It is difficult to imagine that these giants had a body length of up to 9-12 meters and a weight of up to 13 tons, which by the standards of modern animals is a lot. The earliest use of fire for cooking for the first time, a person learned to make fire about 200 400,000 years ago. At least it was thought so before. Archaeologists from the Steinhardt Museum of Natural History at Tel Aviv University have made a sensational discovery. They claim to have found evidence of how our ancestors cooked food over a fire some 780,000 years ago. The ability to cook food is actually a big breakthrough in the evolution of our ancestors. After the humanoid beings learned how to heat food, they received an impetus for the development of the brain. It used to take them much longer to chew and digest food. After heat treatment of food, the meat became softer and absorbed by the body much faster, which allowed more time to be spent on building settlements and exploring new territories. They had a large amount of free time that needed to be occupied with something. At this moment, the brain turned on and began to actively invent how to entertain themselves. You might be wondering how archaeologists managed to figure out that the earliest cooking over a campfire was 780,000 years ago. What could they have found that led to such a conclusion? At the archaeological site of Geshe ben Yaakov in Israel, they found the burnt teeth of a large fish. After analyzing the tooth animal, they were able to find out that the fish was gradually subjected to heat treatment. Most likely, it could be baked or boiled. Burnt stones were found nearby, indicating that there was a hearth here. It is so interesting to imagine that almost a million years ago, our ancestors cooked fish for themselves on stones or in an earth kiln in the same way that we do it now on a grill or barbecue. Bass relief of an eagle in the former capital of the Aztecs. For the first time, archaeologists discovered the eagle bass relief in February 2020, exactly three years ago. And only now, having done a lot of research, they were able to determine the deep meaning of this image. The bass relief is about 600 years old. It was found at the foot of the Temple Mayor Temple, which is located in the center of Tenochtitlan and now Mexico City. Now archaeologists are sure that the eagle was carved during the reign of Notikuxam Ilakekamin. About 70 similar sculptures were found in the Temple Mayor Temple, but this eagle is the largest of all. Its dimensions are 106 by 70 centimeters. It is not only its size that is striking, but also its significance indicated by its location. The golden eagle is the most important symbol in the Aztec culture, and its location in the center of the temple speaks of the importance of the best relief. The eagle was a sacred creature in the mind of the Aztecs who was present at the birth of the sun, hence the black and scorched tips of the wings, and was a symbol of one of the elite military awards in the Aztec culture. Mami Tashvinet this is the oldest mummy in Africa. In Libya, at the archaeological site of Juan Mehajiak, archaeologists have discovered unique mummies. After a lot of research, scientists said that the mummies are 5,400-5,600 years old. Their uniqueness lies in the fact that their age is older than all previously found in neighboring Egypt. The discovery was made by Professor Fabrizio Mori in 1958. The mummy of a three-year-old child was found in the fetal position. The embalmed body was carefully wrapped in leaves and covered with an antelope skin. Instead of internal organs, there were some herbs in the body. Scientists are 
first cell studying the mixture of herbs to understand how the body was able to survive for almost six years. After the discovery of this mummy, archaeologists are sure that the first mummies on the mainland did not appear in Egypt. The Egyptians used mummification techniques borrowed from other people. Ancient Aqueduct of Augustus in the previous video, I said that one of the most important achievements of ancient Rome, which was still used today, was plumbing. However, it looked different. So archaeologists find parts of aqueducts in the former territories of ancient Rome. They recently discovered an unknown section of the ancient aqueduct of Augustus in Campania. It facilitated the transfer of drinking water from Crypta Neapolitana to Posilippo Hill and Nishida Island and is in excellent condition. At the moment, it is the longest known section of the Augustus Aqueduct, which has a length of 647 meters. With the help of this aqueduct, experts in antiquity could regulate the pressure of water from simple to extreme. Now experts will try to dig it out completely and take the soil for analysis to determine how the climate changed during the time of ancient Rome. In fact, the aqueduct is not only practical – water to every house – but also beautiful and majestic. The practice of aqueducts was later used all over the world. The Roman Roman emperors thus wanted to win over the citizens of the empire. During all this time, more than 350 kilometers of aqueducts were built throughout the Roman Empire, and only a small part of them ended up underground. Ancient Whale Skull the Goddard family wanted to find a couple of ancient shark teeth. It is a common practice in the United States when amateur paleontologists find fragments of the remains of ancient fish and animals on the shore. They did not find shark teeth, but they found something more outstanding and larger – a real whale skull, which is 12 million years old, and its dimensions are so gigantic that it took two months to dig it out. For you to understand, with a skull length of 1.5 meters, its weight was 295 kilograms. Specialists from the Museum of Paleontology congratulated Cody Goddard and his wife on such a find. They said that such a discovery is like winning the Paleontology World Cup. It is preliminarily believed that this is an ancient Miocene baleen whale, but we will find out the exact answer later, when real paleontologists and not amateurs carefully study it. At the moment, this is the best preserved whale skull of, of all that was found in the Culvert Cliffs area. The baleen whale, or as it is also called, the Cetotherium, could swim very quickly, and rightly so, because the Megalodon swam nearby, and in order not to fall into the mouth of this predator, the whale needed to move in the ocean as quickly as possible. Further thorough cleaning of the skull before it is shown in the museum may take several more months. Magic Amulet in Egypt and again, we will go to ancient Egypt. Archaeologists have unearthed 20 ancient tombs in the city of New Damietta. In one of the burials, archaeologists found gold items, a statue of the cat goddess, and magical amulets. The burials were dated to 688 BC, which is approximately the 26th dynasty. The shape and material of the tombs differed in composition from raw bricks to simple pits. The tombs contained artifacts made of gold foil. The foil was rolled in the shape of ancient Egyptian gods such as Isis, who was one of the most important deities. There were also golden figures of the cat goddess and the god Horus with the head of a falcon. Ancient texts say that the Egyptian gods had flesh of gold. Such amulets provided protection from the depicted gods and also helped the deceased to find himself in the world of the gods. In addition to golden amulets and statuettes, there were many pottery in the tombs. Also miniature models of canopic vessels were found in the tombs, which were used to preserve the insides of the deceased during the mummification process. So far, archaeologists cannot give an exact answer to whom the tombs belonged, but the number of valuable artifacts found here is simply amazing. Cocoons of Condo Lagoon in Peru, in the city where, with the interesting name Lamabemba, a museum was opened in 2000, which housed 200 creepy mummies and funeral accessories. They were discovered in 1997 in Lake a Chachapoa settlement on the shores of Lake Laguna de los Condores, 80 kilometers south of Chachapoas. The museum maintains a certain temperature so that the mummies can continue to be kept in good shape and frighten museum visitors. Some mummies show fear and agony 
agony on their faces. From their gaze, the blood freezes in the veins of visitors. In the remote northwestern region of the Andes is the mountain lake Laguna de los Condores, which has kept an amazing secret for more than 500 years. There were a number of tombs in the limestone cliffs around the lake. For 500 years, no one touched these burial structures until local farmers began to dig everything up here. Many artifacts were damaged in the course of such excavations. Archaeologists quickly began to excavate in this place in order to protect the graves from looting. Unfortunately, about 200 unusual mummies were saved. In order to place them all in one place, a climate control museum had to be built. The sight of mummies will not leave anyone indifferent. Some of the dead look at you with a frozen, tormented expression. Sometimes the faces are so well preserved that it seems that they can still blink. Several babies sit on the shelves, their tiny bodies neatly wrapped in cloth. Now anyone can see the mummies, and archaeologists continue to study them. And to learn more about new finds of archaeologists, subscribe to our channel. Leave your kind comments under the video, which I will definitely answer. Thanks for your views. Bye, everyone!